click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In Kufa City, 101 AH, herbalist Hayyan ibn Abdullah al Azdi had a baby whom he called Jabir. Jabir ibn Hayyan grew up, surrounded by herbs and pharmaceutical formulations. And this early life played a role that will determine his future. Add one portion of these leaves after grinding them to four portions of these grains and combine the mixture with two portions of this oil. Do I have to take the treatment for long? Allah knows best, but I hope that your stomach pain goes away within few days if you regularly take two doses of this formula daily. May Allah reward you, O oh sir, and may I be cured by you. May Allah heal, restore your health and alleviate your pain. Jabir. Oh, Jabir. I'm here father. What? I didn't notice you were here. That's because I was quiet and I didn't make any noise. You were listening to me as usual. Yes. And I have a question. As always, ask me, my son. Why did you quantify one portion of leaves powder, two portions of oil, and three portions of grains for the man? So, you've memorized the formula? Yes, but, I want to understand on what basis did you specify these quantities? I will tell you, Jabir, these leaves, herbs, and grains have different benefits for the human. When I mix a specific portion of these grains with another portion of these herbs that might be more or less, then the result that I will get will differ by changing the portions. Don't they have the same ingredients? So, what's the difference? Because the effect of each of these ingredients on the human body is different from one ingredient to another. I don't understand. Explain it to me, Father. Okay. For example, if we increase the quantity of black seed powder in this formula, it will relieve chest pain and soothe cough of the one who administers it. However, if the amount of leaves is increased in this formula, then the result can be fatal. Why? Because these leaves contain poisonous ingredients, when we add them in small amounts to other ingredients, the poison will convert into a substance which is useful to the body. But if the leaves percentage is increased, then the poison percentage will increase as well. Administering one dose of this formula may lead to death. Well said, Jabir. You've started to understand the secrets of the herbs and drugs. And now, help me to move these boxes to the storage. Jabir was influenced by the environment that surrounded him in his childhood, and it has awakened something inside him, that will change his life forever, that is the love of science, knowledge, and reading. And Jabir ibn Hayyan started to walk the path that he planned for himself. Why do you insist on leaving Kufa, O oh Jabir? I don't understand you. I will be heading for Yemen, O oh Moses, herbal and pharmaceutical trade is popular there. This is not an excuse. This trade is popular everywhere. Your father, may Allah have mercy on his soul, was one of the most famous herbalist in Kufa. There is a secret behind your journey, Jabir. Okay, I will tell you, it's a journey to seek knowledge. Knowledge? Yes, after my father's death, I figured if I stay in Kufa, I will have to take care of our family business and to spend a lot of time in the shop. <laughs> However, if I traveled, it will be a great opportunity to visit different places through this journey and to meet some scientists whom I heard of before. What about your business? What about it? How will you manage both journeys, the journey of knowledge, and the business trip? Oh Moses, my business will help me through it, as it depends on buying different types of herbs, and this requires me to stay in different places, in order to collect the largest variety of herbs. So, shouldn't I take the opportunity to listen to scholars in every place I visit? 
I understand. So, when you are collecting herbs, you collect knowledge as well. And if herbs are useful to humans, then knowledge is useful as well, isn't it? May Allah grant you success in your journey, O Jabir, and help you to accomplish your dreams. Jabir, Jabir ibn, ibn Hayyan's journey, Hayyan's journey began, began, as, as he, started he started to seek as much as knowledge as he can. He, he studied, studied the, the Holy Quran, Quran and Fiqh and he listened to the narrations of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Jabir, Jabir settled down in Yemen for a while, as, as he practiced the profession that he inherited from his father. I hope that this herbal formula will help, to cure your husband, O oh mother. May Allah reward you with good, my son. You're one of the best herbalists I have ever known. Praise be to Allah. But, why do you usually close your shop? Do you have a second shop in another place? No, but I usually attend some circles of knowledge. Are you still studying herbology? I'm rather study everything I can learn, whether it's religious knowledge or worldly knowledge. You must get to know Harbi al-Himyari. Who is Harbi? He is a scientist in the fields of language, Quran and mathematics, but he always prefers to stay alone. I think that he will accept you as a student, since you love learning that much. Do you mind to introduce me to him, O oh madam? On the contrary, it would be my pleasure, as you're a kind, sincere young man, who have good manners. Do you want us to visit him now? His place is on my way to home. Of course, let's go right now. Which science do you prefer Jabir? All of them, Master Harbi, I think that all sciences are connected to each other. A student should study as many sciences as he can. Good answer, okay. Do you know anything about mathematics? I know a little bit which I managed to learn, during my travels and through meeting different scientists. Good information. Not bad for a start. So, we should start to learn more about mathematics. Jabir, Jabir learned some, some sciences, sciences from Harbi al-Himyari, al which he relied on him later. later. But, but, there was, was a specific, specific science, science that was on Jabir's, Jabir's mind, and it's, and it's the, the science, science that he will specialize in it, and will impress the whole world by his achievements in this science. science. Jabir, Jabir returned to Kufa, where, where he stayed at a friend's house. It's been a long time since your last visit to Kufa. Things here have changed a lot after the rule of the Abbasid. I have noticed that, oh Moses. Changes always attract my attention. Like this one. Which one? Look. What is it? It's just some red bricks. When I first visited you, these white salts weren't here. They are some salts that appear every once in a while. It seems that these bricks contains a material that interacts with the atmosphere, which results in the formation of these salts. What are you talking about? I don't understand anything. They are things that are related to a science called alchemy. I think that I'm interested in this science, oh Moses. It's a science that deals with the properties of substances and their reactions, with other substances and other things that surround them. Although everything has changed, but you haven't changed, Jabir. You are still a science lover as always. After Jabir's return to Kufa, he devoted himself to science. And he started to specialize in everything that was related to chemistry, or alchemy as it was called at that time. Your specialization in herbalism will help you to understand more about the secrets of alchemy. And you might be the one who will discover the method to transmuting base metals into gold. This isn't what concerns me. Alchemy is an important science that may help us to discover things that are useful to people. 
But, is there something that more useful to people than transmuting dirt into gold? I think this is just a myth, because it's not possible that it would be that easy, and this is certainly not useful to people. If people were able to transmute dirt into gold then they will not work. As it would be possible for anyone, to gain a fortune without any trouble. Good analysis. If people stopped working, the whole society will be paralyzed. I don't think that there is a science that could give this result. Science is meant to help people, and to make progress of nations and communities. Its role is to fighting against myths and ignorance. May Allah help me to achieve what I wish for. Jabir ibn Hayyan set a specific goal, which was to discover more about the secrets of science, and to dedicate this knowledge to help people. So, will he be able to accomplish his dreams?